the 90th collision between these intersectional rivals. And for Notre Dame, everything to play for. The Trojans say they're more than spoilers tonight in the Coliseum. Senior night, the most inspirational, courageous member of this class is Jake Olson. Back up long snapper, lost his eyesight to cancer at age 12, invited into the program by Pete Carroll, walked on in 2015, and has snapped for PATs in three games. His dad, Brian, has helped him become an excellent golfer. His trusty dog, Quebec, escorting Jake out. He is all smiles, and he's just beginning to inspire folks around the world with his courage. Maybe we'll get to see him tonight if the situation arises. 115th in the nation in touchdown efficiency in the red zone. Now Payai picks his way, barrels forward, and scores! As the Trojans take it to the end zone in the first possession. Watch the right side of this USC offensive line get a great push against that talented Notre Dame USC or that Notre Dame defensive line. Clay Helton's got to be fired up about this. Trojans have scored first for the 10th time this season. Trying to get the ball to the outside, cannot do it. Book for Fink, over the shoulder catch. Touchdown as the Irish finally break through. What a pitch and catch. Just showed you how that's the matchup. That's who they've got to be able to go after against Lockett, a senior. Definitely gets the right foot down. They're going to take a peek at it again, I'm sure. He's in bounds, but is he in the end zone? Right. Right there, the ball does break the plane. All these big, tall, physical wide receivers on Notre Dame, they have not hurt the Trojans. It's been the X walk on from the slot making all the plays. Tighter coverage now. Daniels. Takes a shot downfield, looks for Pittman, who makes a catch in Notre Dame territory. Got to go up and make a play. We've got talented wide receivers. Michael Pittman is a junior at 6'4", with the ball up high in the air, intentionally by Daniels. Gives his receiver a chance. He goes up and makes a big play. Tremendous ambassador for this program. Now, Williams finally has some room. Dexter Williams in the clear. And in the end zone as Notre Dame takes the lead. Bottled up. Controlled all night, Kirk, but a 52-yard explosion for the running back. Really give Chip Long a lot of credit for this play. You can see the lineman pull, but actually they're coming back this way. Affected the eyes, not only of the safeties, but the linebackers as well. Picked up a nice block there by the tight end, Komet. Just really little misdirection up front. He's a guy that's moved over with middle backer, where he's the backup to inside linebacker tonight, so a new role tonight. Now Book. Has to backpedal, fires to the end zone, and heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. An unwise play, and of all people, <laughs> Jordan McMillan, walk-on, who got a pep talk this week from ex-Trojan Jason Seahorn. Holding on the offense, number six, that penalty is declined. Result of the play is an interception. First down. For Timeout. First of all, Chris, a rare poor decision here by Ian Book to throw that into so much traffic. The progressive pylon cam shows you three different USC defenders in the area and give McMillan a lot of credit for that interception. Irish can wind the play clock down before snapping it on third and six. Jones is the back. He's got it again. And Jones a lot of room. Tony Jones makes a cut, gets a block, and scores. Is that the play that will seal the playoff bid for Fighting Irish? USC's been aggressive tonight. They're bringing all-out blitz. The only problem is nobody picks up the back out of the backfield. Watch the block downfield. Remember we talked about McMillan? Boom! He made that interception. This time, Miles Boykin comes up with a block. And he started to peak. It's because he started to peak. He's very fortunate. His left thigh actually helps him secure that ball. Remember, that was a third and six. On third down, they bring pressure. Daniels picks it up. Throws to the end zone. Touchdown, Tyler Vons. Trojans within eight. You talk about high pointing the ball. I love where he puts this up. And look at look at Tyler Vons go up and make a play on this. Really, not much that Pride could do on that. The progressive pylon cam showing he gets up. Oh, there, there shows that elevation. I mean, he's up 35, 38 inches. 
Gets the big hop, and it's Boykin who goes up and collects it at the 46, and the Irish can just bleed the clock out. How about Miles Boykin, he's, who's been so instrumental this year for Notre Dame? Comes There's up. no one you'd rather have maybe in the sport no. at that ball, right? No, no. Big the hands? Str big, strong hands. Really never in doubt there. Hard to imagine a 12-0 Notre Dame team getting jumped by a couple of one-loss teams. No. Nothing weirder has happened in the playoff era yet. I'm not saying no, it's impossible, I, but I am. unlikely. I am. I'll say it for you. It's impossible? It's impossible. <laughs> <laughs> They're 12-0. Go recruit. Go sit back. Have a, have a big party next Sunday and uh, see if you're at uh, where you end up. Tranquil and the Irish walk-off winners.